What's up, everybody? It's Bryce here, coming at you here October, October. Look at me, November the second. It's already November. Um, hopefully, everybody had a nice, uh, nice Monday to Friday. Whatever you guys do out there for a living, hopefully it was a good, good to you, treated you well, paid you well, and uh, you know, getting ready for a nice weekend of football winners. Uh, quick recap for us. Yesterday, man, we had a two and zero day here at Team Bryce, plus nine units. Uh, started off the afternoon with a four-unit play over in the English uh, English League uh, International Soccer with uh, Bristol City and Barnsley to go over the posted total of three. Uh, my book had it at over two and a half and over three. Soccer is one of those one of those uh, things where the lines can be a little tricky if you don't understand how to bet soccer or if you don't know what the over two and a half and over three means. It can be a little confusing for you. Basically, uh, you know you're you're betting. You're betting at one time, but you're getting two lines at the same time. So I'm betting uh, that there will be over three goals scored in the game, which is the play I released. But I also my book also gave me over two and a half. So that means if there was three goals scored in the game, I won half my bet, which was two and a half, and then I pushed the three. Uh, so it was a little would have been a little sm small winner for me had it ended in a push at three. Uh, but they ended up in a 2-2 draw, so won't even worry about it. It was four goals scored in the game. Nice four-unit winner for us there to start off the afternoon. And then we uh, rolled, uh, kept it rolling right along in the college football with a nice five-unit top-tier winner with the Navy minus 15 in the first half. Um, if you guys don't know, Navy is one of the best teams in the first half in the entire country. They are now 8-0 against the spread in the first half. Um, you know, they just come out. They're very disciplined. Uh and they can score quickly, even though they're a run, run first offense. They can score any at the at the drop of a hat with that option offense. For teams that aren't familiar with uh, defending it, um, loved the play. It wasn't looking good there towards the end, but um, we got that sack fumble and pretty much wrapped it up for us. They ended up covering uh, 28 to 10 in the first half for a uh, three point cover for us there. Uh, yesterday's free play hasn't went off yet, as I gave the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers and Seattle. Um, Seahawks to go over the post of total on Sunday. Uh, grab that while you can because I, I feel like that line's still going to go up. I know it might have dropped half a point yesterday, but I still like that total to sneak back up over uh, towards the over uh, by Sunday. So grab it while you can. It's all about value in the NFL, and uh, it's all about uh, betting that number. Uh, free play for you today. Oh, oh! If everybody that hopped on the package yesterday, I appreciate it. If you didn't hop on the package and you want to get on the winning train, uh, Team Bryce this weekend. We started off started off yesterday, nice two and zero day, plus nine units. Uh, if you want on the package uh, for today and tomorrow, drop a comment below in the video here uh, with your email, and I'll send send you something over, and we'll get linked up for you for sure. Uh, free play for today. We are going to go look in the Texas A&M and Texas San Antonio football game where A&M is laying 150 points to the Roadrunners. Uh, not really, man. They're laying 38 and a half for the game. And uh, the total is sitting right at 54. Um, this game should be a blowout. And um, <clears throat> it really shouldn't even be close. But what we're going to do in this in this situation is something that I've done for a couple years now. And it's, it's, it's quite profitable for me. Um, this is just a little tip for you guys. Uh, I'm going to give it as a free play, but, you know, kind of use this when I look at games and stuff like that. It's just, it's always something I just throw a little small money on it just, just because uh, it turns profit uh, about 80, 85% of the time, which is uh, good enough for winning in my book. We're going to take the over um, first quarter points in this one. It's sitting at 12 and a half. Uh, I like it up to 13, so grab it at 12 and a half now while you can. Uh, you can grab it at 13, but if it goes up to 13 and a half, I, I would kind of steer clear in this one. Uh, basically, the the you know the theory and the expectations of this one is is uh, Texas A&M laying a lot of points in this game. They should come out fast, uh, strong with a vengeance. Go ahead and put this game away early, and uh, look, start looking to rest their guys in the second half. Um, I know it probably makes sense to some people to just lay the points in the first quarter, uh, but I've been doing this for years, and you see some crazy things in, these, in the first quarter of games sometimes. So just give me any and all points in the first quarter in a, in a game where their uh, team's laying almost 40. I'll take any and all points in the first quarter. 
Uh, it's sitting at 12 and a half right now. Like I said, I like it up to 13. So go ahead and grab it now while you can because I fully expect it to hit 13 before kickoff. Uh, so that's your official free play. Texas A&M, Texas San Antonio over 12 and a half. First quarter points. Um, look for the Aggies to come out fast in a, in a, in a hurry. Uh, put up some points and uh, look to rest their guys later on in the game. Uh, big game here for me down here in the south. We've got uh, North Carolina and Virginia. It's going to be kicking off later today. Uh, this game has major implications in the ACC. I will be watching this game with a with a, uh, a large group of friends as uh, a bunch of us are Carolina fans. Uh, I want everybody to drop a comment in this video and let me know what you guys think the score to that game is going to be. Whoever predicts the actual correct score to the North Carolina-Virginia game for today, if anybody does it, um, I'm going to hook you up with a, uh, a free day pass for tomorrow. You will get my NFL package for tomorrow. I have a seven-unit play and a six-unit play going off tomorrow. And uh, on the season, I am 9-1 and one on plays rated six units or higher. That's 90%. Uh, drop a comment, North Carolina-Virginia, exact score to the game. You get the exact score to the game right for this game and, and uh, the, the heels and the who's. Uh, I'm going to throw you my day package tomorrow for free. Uh, so... Good luck to everybody. Um, hopefully, hopefully Carolina pulls out a win tonight. I know I'll be watching it with a, with a large group of people. Um, go Heels. As always, I appreciate everybody that stops by. I appreciate the love, the comments, the support. And uh, as always, good luck, God bless, and grind on.